You know what really grinds my gears? It's the fact that I'm running out of land over here and I figured, hey, I might just buy some more land. But I can't buy it over here because for some reason I, I can't buy anything more than this. Like, f wait, why? I'm in the middle of a desert, there's not anything else. I mean, why can't I buy more land? What is this? Is, there, is the rest of this park just a natural park or something? I'm in the middle of a desert to protect the uh, animals in the trees. I have no idea what this is all about. But the point is, I need to buy more land and I can only do that over here, but... I'm kind of running out of space where I can actually expand over here, so... I think that I might actually buy all this land over here and just build a coaster somehow over there? You know what, I'm just gonna buy land anyway. I have no idea what I'm actually gonna do on it, but I'll just buy the land. The tower is broken down. I have no idea what that thing actually is. Is that the, uh... Um, that, that... Oh yeah, that thing. That stupid thing. Well, who gives a shit about that thing? I mean, it's very low, actually. I think those things are supposed to be a lot higher than that, but... I don't want my guests to vomit all over my paths. You know how this game is sometimes. Okay, this is the worst way to actually buy land. Can I increase the... No, I... What is the... I just turned the... Did I... Oh, no. That was... <laughs> what? Okay. So, I just bought this land. No, I'm, I'm gonna buy more. Okay. Well, you can't really do anything with that, but I'm already running out of money. Why is buying land so expensive? I figured that I would... Hey, I don't even have anything to build on it. How am I, uh, research... Uh, uh, no! Oops, that was my pop filter. But, I don't want to... No, I don't want any theming. Damn it. Why does this always happen? Like, it, it, you always have that one thing selected, and then it runs out of things to research for that, and then it... Then it's, like, like gonna research theming, because it's very important, right? Because everybody uses that. Right improvements could actually be somewhat useful, but only if you've researched everything else. Okay, Nicki Minaj is broken. Okay, good for her. I've, I've got more money though. I can buy more land and decide what I'm going to do with this land as soon as I can like, get something that I can place on it. Is there anything else that I might want to work on? Mm. Tower still hasn't been fixed. That is an issue. I've only got two mechanics, don't I? Yeah, and they, they're not too expensive. It's probably uh, better than leaving rights broken for a very long time like that. So I'm just gonna add another one. Uh, this area is... No, there's not really space anywhere. There's a tiny bit of space over here, but then again, I don't think there's anything I can really build on it. No, not really. Then, what do I do with it? I think... I think that I'm going to get the Egyptian scenery. And you know what? I might actually use it. Okay, it's October right now, and I'm gonna get it... Okay, in 14 days. That's not so bad. In the meantime, I suppose I'll just kind of look around. Lots of people told me that this thing is going to crash, and yeah, I know that. For some, actually, this slide might just not crash. I think this slide is actually pretty safe. But yeah, that's the problems with th that's the problems. That's the problem with these kinds of rides. They're not very reliable. Though this thing would say, where is the uh, the those uh, something? Isn't it over? No, it's not. It's over here. The, uh, no, it's not over there either. There was something where you could see about how reliable it is. Reliability is actually 98%. And I think the worst thing that might happen to this thing, because I don't think it's possible for these boats to actually, uh, just do stuff that they actually crash and explode, because for some reason these boats explode. Game. And what they can do, though, is get stuck, like... But I don't think this hill is too big to get over. I think it always gets over this hill, so that's not too dangerous. But I know that in Rollercoaster Tycoon 1, there was Aqua Park, where these things would always get stuck because the track was just stupid. But that shouldn't happen with this one. However, I would say it might... I might actually play some more scenery around it. Because why not? This uh, is going to have some ducks over here. That makes absolutely no sense, but it looks cool, and that's what it's all about. And somebody said that I forget, forgot a fence over here, and I actually did, so people can actually jump into the gap there, but not anymore. Okay, so save myself there, and I've got plenty of money again. Well, not really plenty, but I can buy something. 
I was actually hoping, and I don't know this for sure, I haven't played this in a very long time, but I think that the next coaster you get on this thing is the Corkscrew Coaster, and the Corkscrew Coaster is sexy. So I definitely want to place that thing, so if I can do that over here, that would be amazing. Mm, I think the rest of the park just looks cool. I'm actually very happy about the way this park looks. I don't know if I've set this yet, but... Like I said with Forest Frontiers, I think this is one of my best, if not my best, Dynamite Dunes ever. Though, I've had a couple of other ones. But sometimes you just build a park, and uh, you just try to get it somewhere, and it just doesn't work. But today, that's not that day. Today, it's actually working out. Uh, the only thing that I don't really like as much is this log flume, because it's not that... I mean, it's not that creative, because it only has drops and lift hills on this hill, and that just kind of looks boring and repetitive, but then again, what else could I do? Especially in that limited space. Okay, so, what's the date? 13th, we almost have that. I think it's the Egyptian scenery, but it might be the Roman as well. Uh, let's just wait. Uh, everything else is okay. There doesn't seem to be too much vomit. There's no vomit anywhere. That's very nice. And the log flume is broken down. I'm pretty sure that as soon as one lift hill breaks down, the other one is auto- Yes, Egyptian theming, but the other one is automatically broken too for some reason. Okay, so, makes no sense, but it's cool to place something over there. I'm definitely gonna try to kind of spice up the park. Because in terms of looks, it could definitely use some more stuff. I mean, it's got nice attractions and all that, but... There's definitely some things I might add. And of course there's vomit over here, and there's loads of vomit over here. I think I did assign some guy over here, right? Yeah, I did. He's going to clean it up. Okay, good. And I think I should add a fence somewhere. And yes, we have the Egyptian fence too now, so let's just add that. This is now the Egyptian area, though I might always part turn this entire park into an Egyptian park, because I like that. And I'm not going to add any lamps, because lamps are pretty useless. I don't even like them for aesthetics. All they do is break down, really. And I'm going to add this little thing. The uh, Cleopatra's Needle. That sounds weird. And wrong. And um, I might place a pyramid. No, no, that thing is way too big. Anything else? The uh, Sphinx somewhere. Oh, that might actually fit. But I have nowhere to add it. And then there's this thing, which makes zero sense, but I'm just gonna add it to this little thing. Because that's cool. Just a small touch of scenery. With a small touch of fencing around it. Makes no sense, but... No, that doesn't... That indeed doesn't make any sense. Remove. And... I'm also pretty sure... Yeah, this had some random rubble stuff that you can just kind of throw around. You know, I just like doing that. Uh, that's too repetitive, though. What is that? Level land required. Oh, that's a shame. Well, in that case, I'll just place it there. And uh, I'm just going to add this nice little fence here. Because, as people have stated, and that is very true, I overused the hedges. But then again, I, I just can't resist the urge to place them. It's so amazing. But at least these fences might be able to kind of get rid of the over-hedging. Hopefully I'm not going to turn it into an over-fencing though, or over-stone border, or over-Egyptian walls, that's what they call it. Oh, 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 I see, uh, I see that, I see that. Let's repair that. Okay. Whew. I just saved the day. And then there's this thing, which is like, what is this even? A column. Ah, it doesn't really look like one, but okay. And, oh, idea. This is going to be, uh, oh, yes. That is good. That is way too good. I'm just going to add some ground shrubs around that. I like that. And I'll add a, uh, something random. Random stuff. Because I can. Will that raise the excitement value? I'm pretty sure that scenery... Scenery does raise excitement values, but I don't know how close they have to be to the ride and how many you need to have of them. And oh god, that park looks terrible. No. 
Uh, let's see, what's the excitement? Is this thing actually making money? Oh, it actually is making quite a bit of money, even though there aren't too many people on it. So that's good. And, um, where was I? 640, yeah, that didn't change. Um, do I have anything on the research? Yes, it's gonna be a roller coaster. Yes, uh, why did I, why was I so happy about that? That was the only thing I'm researching. Hold on. Hold up. Wait, I, uh, might be able to build a path over there. Like that. I'm just gonna try that. And I'm not gonna use any new paths, but I might be able to use this one. I don't know how this looks. No, no, no. Not gonna do that. This is the only acceptable path in a desert. And I'll just add a nice Egyptian wall around that. So the people are safe and they're not going to fall into the huge canyon over here. I, I, I do have a fear of emptiness. Like this little spot that doesn't have as much going on in it really disturbs me in that kind of sense. I don't know why. I just don't like it. But I'll leave it there because there's really nothing I can really add to that. And in a general sense, the park... The park's layout does look pretty cool, even though it's not that effective when it comes to actually getting guests to the attractions and stuff like that. I like the look of it. Okay, so... A stand-up steel... Oh god, I forgot about that thing. I always forget about that thing, but that thing is not the best thing. Because, uh... The excitement rating is gonna be high, but the intensity rating is also gonna be way too high in that thing. Simply because you need to stand up on it, of course. And in terms of realism, because I do want to try and keep my parks as realistic as possible, of course, within uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 scenarios, of course, because it's kind of hard to get a real realistic park in this game and also complete the scenarios, especially later on. But with a stand-up coaster, that's kind of hard, because unless it's a Togo, given though that the stand-up coaster track in this game uses the Togo track, I think, it's still hard to actually make it look good. Hmm. Hmm. I will have to assign another handyman, that's for sure, because those things are true monsters. Hmm, I don't know why and where I want to build that coaster though. I definitely feel like I should build something on the hills over here, but I don't know why. Stand up steel, it's gonna be the 12th of April. Okay, that's in one day. Nice. Nice. Okay, gimme, give gimme. Give Come on. Hurry up. Them slackers. I don't and this is probably this is still one of my favorite <laughs> roller coasters I've ever made. I don't want to boast or anything about that, but usually when I try to build wooden roller coasters, they just turn into the biggest pile of turds I've ever seen. But this one just came out okay. Especially for its size. But we've got a stand-up steel roller coaster. And speaking of turds, this is going to be one massive turd. But we're just going to build this. The Venom Rail. Nope. Thank you. That. Oh, wait. I have that Ferris wheel. Oh, why? Why? Build the station over here, then. <gasps> I am going to do the weirdest stuff with this thing. Okay. I'm going to go over there. And I'm going to have a turn there. Did it just say the land over th All of this land is for sale. What are you on about, Willis? I- Why? Okay. Oh, I'm just gonna build a lift hill. Excellent Togo quality. I am so happy and so glad that Rollercoaster Tycoon, that Chris Sawyer actually put a Togo in the game. Because without Togo's theme parks wouldn't be the same, obviously. And because these types of coasters are disappearing all around the world, we definitely need a Togo stand up here. Question is, how do I actually do this? Given though that most of the Togo stand ups are actually in Japan and in China and countries like that, I was about to say poor, stupid Asian countries, but oh, damn it, and I said it anyway. But they do have those hilly areas, so most Togos actually do have some terrain interaction, but it's still hard to get a looping coaster with interaction like that. It doesn't really make too much sense if you ask me. So yeah, I don't really have an idea how to do this. You know, you know what? I might actually buy some land over here and then actually go up again and then go down 
and do some shenanigans with that. Okay, I'm gonna try that. So, I'm gonna buy some land here. Oh my, this coaster is... I think that buying the land for this is even more expensive than actually bu buying... building the coaster itself. Okay. More land. And a banked curve. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna bank the curve. Why doesn't it have a helix? This really seems like the type of coaster that should have a helix. I mean, it's a Togo after all. What's a Togo without a helix of death? Huh. And loopings are way too expensive. Why is one looping more expensive than an entire flat ride that does all that upside down stuff? And Huh. I actually don't know if that's realistic, but it's quite annoying over here because I'm trying to buy a looping. Well, in the meantime, I can look at the uh, color scheme, I suppose. Does this look good? I kind of want to have a color that I don't have yet in the park, so red is definitely a no-no. However, I also want to have a kind of dull color that doesn't really stand out too much in the desert. And this type of gray is actually pretty nice. But then again, it's not very desert-ish. It really does stand out, even though it is not that bright. And what about this color? No, that's too much like the sand. I do want to have some contrast. And if I make the supports brown, perhaps. Hmm. It's still not the uh, optimal color scheme. Yeah, it's kind of hard to come up with a color scheme for Togos. Like, often you'll see stuff like this, but I don't know why, but I just don't like it if the, if the spine has a different color than the rails. So I kind of want to avoid that. And, of course, I already have a red roller coaster in my park, so I kind of want to avoid that as well. Now, gold is a nice color, but that's probably not going to work out, even though it might just work. Nah, I'm just gonna try it with purple, and I'll finish it anyway, and then look at the color scheme again. This is gonna be okay, just for now, so I don't have to look at something ridiculous while I'm building this. And that doesn't work out. Hmm. Well, that's a shame. In that case, I'm gonna... Well, that doesn't make sense. But I'm, st I'm still gonna try this. I'm still gonna move the looping to over here. And somehow come up with a solution. Hmm. Damn, this is actually hard. How do I even fix that? Given though, I don't even really like the look of this so far. So, maybe if I add a curve over here, it's gonna look better. Like that. That does mean we have some wider curve action, but that shouldn't be too much of a problem. It looks a bit awkward from this side, because isometric view, that's the only thing I really dislike about isometric view. Sometimes you just get weird looking coasters from one um, perspective and then it just looks awesome from a different perspective and this is exactly the one perspective that I want this coaster to look good from so no I'm sorry but then I'm still stuck with this thing hmm I don't know how to fix this I mean it looks good from over here but from a different angle it's just a pain. And that is never going to work out. Though, damn, that looks sexy from this. That looks sexy. I've never actually tried that, but that looks a lot better. Uh, not from this angle, but it looks... It doesn't look that bad, really. I expected it to look way worse than this. And I might be able to fit a looping in this. Although that does look awkward. Nope. I'm not gonna do that. Uh, maybe it's time to do something crazy. Like something I've never tried before. Something like that. If that works out. Uh, there's no space for that. Hmm. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna do something stupid that I'm gonna regret, but I'm still gonna do it. He's gonna buy more land and do this. I don't know if that makes sense, but it's 
just gonna try it. Roller coaster in the way. Hmm. Hmm. Well then, buy more land. I'm just gonna go all the way over here and then try it. Does that make sense? Kind of does. And hold up! Wait, what? If I do this and go down, and oh, there's no room for that. Okay, more land. I think <laughs> I'm not going into the right direction, but I still want to try this. Okay. In the meantime, I'm actually earning money while building a roller coaster because I'm so terrible and slow at this. Okay. That looks decent. And a vertical loop right. I kind of want the loop to be left, though. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know about that. What if I move this thing? It seems to make less sense, but I can actually add a right loop over there. And that's kind of where I want it. Because if I have a looping somewhere, I kind of want it in the middle of a different place. So you actually get a really nice view of the looping. You know what? I actually like this. It's kind of tangled and twisted. And I like that. And compact, of course, because this is a Togo, after all. And we can do some shenanigans with this. Oh yes, I like that. I really do like that. Though that is probably a bit too low, I suppose. Just gonna make it a bit higher, but I do like that. So, like that. And then I suppose we're just gonna go down on the other side, because it's possible. Oh, this coast is not that bad. Pink Floyd has broken down. Oh, that's a shame. And can I go up over there? No, because then I don't have space to connect it to the station. Hmm. That is a problem. No, wait, I do, I think. I think I do. It takes over there. Yes, I do. I do have enough space to do that. Nice. The question is, how do I do it? Because I do need to add a very tight turn. And I'm running out of money again. Oh, I did not expect that. Oh well, I can look at the roller coaster now and actually build the entrance and the exit already because I already kind of know where to place those things. And do this. Hold up, hold up, that's the wrong color. Nope, 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 nope. Stop, abort, uh, yellow. Thank you. I suppose that's a good cue. It's a simple one, but effective for that. No, it's just a standard queue, but I didn't have any any more room, so. Uh, how do I have barely any money? I'm not earning enough money. I thought I was earning enough money, but I'm not. Partly because I bought all this land over here that I didn't even use. That is kind of stupid. Oh well, I don't care. As long as this thing is going to look good, I suppose. Okay, I can buy some more land. Aha, give me your land. And I can... Buy more land over there. It takes how much? 240 euros because I'm using euros to buy an entire strip of land. That is bullshit. Damn you, capitalism. Oh, and even the roller coaster itself is expensive. Hmm. And meanwhile, the slide is breaking down. Oh, there's chaos everywhere. And this episode is already very long, but I want to finish this roller coaster. So I'm just going to try that. Where's the slide that broke down? How do I lose my rides? I place them and then I just... Whoa! I did not even notice that the queue lines over here are so incredibly long. Oh, poor people. Seriously, how is anybody able to queue for... Like, how long is it? How long is the queue? Six minutes. For just one slide. And it even costs them 180 euros. That's a lot. 180 really is a lot. And, um, I do have enough money, though. Uh, so I can buy more land. That's basically my goal with this. And I have no idea how to turn around and make such a tight turn without... Was it the end of the month? 
It seems it was. Yeah, it was. Because that's every time I lose money. Hmm. But yeah, the thing is, I'm trying to get a nice tight curve over here because I do need to get back to the station nicely. But then again, it's kind of hard to do that because if I add a curve over here, it's going to be way too fast and way too tight. And the G's are going to be off the charts because this is a Togo stand-up coaster after all. So it's already very rough and you need to stand up and stuff like that. So you definitely do not want tight curves. But then again, I do need to turn around here. So I'm trying to do it like this. And the height seems to be pretty good as well. I'm just going to try this. Okay, buy more land. And... Go. No, I don't have plenty of money. 220 euros for just one curve. Why are, sta are stand-up coasters this expensive? Actually, this is not very realistic, I think. Because if you look at this, a stand-up coaster is this expensive. While a wooden coaster is that expensive. Stand-up coaster is nearly the most expensive coaster out of all these coasters, even though it's from Togo, come on. Togo is dirt cheap. Chris Sawyer, you failed on that one. I'm disappointed. I will never buy a game from you ever again. And I don't have enough cash. And I do have enough cash. And I don't have enough cash. Come on, buy it. Get cash. Okay, now I do have enough cash. This is not the most efficient way to build. It's probably uh, about time that I actually focus on the scenery over here. And scenery isn't that expensive, so I might be able to make some money in the meantime. And I suppose I'll place this wall over there. And some other scenery items. This guy is pretty cool. He can hang out over there. And I'm going to add a hedge again. And yes, I am adding a hedge again, because I like those things. Oh, let me... Build it over there. Does that look okay? I'd say it does, even though it's kind of pointless over there. I want some green stuff. And I think I almost have enough money to actually make it back to the station now. Oh wait, I don't have enough to actually add brakes. Hmm. You know, I know that in the past I've kind of ignored people who said that I should add brakes at the end of the station, but I should definitely do that for this ride. Also, I realized that I haven't even tested it yet, so I just want to test it right now. Six cars per train. I'm just going to add five because it looks nicer. Less efficient. I know, but I'm not going for efficiency. Okay. You see, I I've seen reviews about this game, many, and I agree with all of them that this is an amazing game, and the only thing it really lacks is a fast-forward button. And especially when I'm trying to test coasters and you need to wait for that slow lift hill. That's really the kind of thing that I realize kind of... It's kind of missing in this game. But it's still an awesome game. Okay, the speed... The pacing is very nice. It's gonna make that loop right. That is near perfect pacing. I've played this game way too often. It's a bit fast near the end though. And this turn might just be a killer. But I'll, I'll just see what the uh, stats are like, because I kind of don't want to bank that turn in the end. Because that would cost me another uh, tile of station. And that would suck. Uh, nothing is red, so I think it should be good. Uh, in the G's department. Max positive vertical G's at 3.2. That's not even that much. Especially for Togo. Huh. So it's not that bad. Come on. Is it really that hard to kind of figure out what the uh, excitement rating and all that is? Oh, hold on, the intensity is 8.5. Yeah, that might just be a bit too high. I'm just, I'm just gonna add a bank turn in the end anyway. I'm just gonna see if that makes a difference. Come on, let me, let me edit that thing. Oh, right, that's how it works. I keep forgetting that you need to do that. Okay, so bank the turn. Add the brakes speed uh, 6. Might as well. And an exit. Remove the path. And the exit. Okay. There we go. The queue is not that long. That might be a slight issue. I'm just going to make it a bit longer. Just going to do that standard zigzag-ish thing. Okay, that's better. And not open! Wait, hold on! Did somebody... No, nobody bought a, ch a ticket, right? Okay going to test that thing again. I suppose I do like the uh, color scheme though. 
Okay, so I'm just going to see if this thing is good. And then call it a day. Okay, I can still have five trains. I mean, two cars per train and two trains. So that's really cool. I'm actually really glad about that. I, I thought I wouldn't be able to do that with one station uh, tile less. But that's one thing that I like in Rollercoaster Tycoon 1 that Rollercoaster Tycoon 2 doesn't have where you can actually get the uh, the cars can actually stick out of the station. So you don't need quite a big station to actually have many cars. Okay, I suppose this is good. I'm just going to wait for the ratings. It's still a bit fast at the end, but I suppose that's not too much of a problem really. And overall, I do like the aesthetics of this ride, and uh, uh, the, the way it looks. Why do I keep... Okay. Uh, though it does look best from this perspective. I think that's also something you can really notice when people build roller coasters, that they build it mostly from one perspective, and then you'll notice that it looks really cool from that perspective, but from other perspectives, it just sometimes looks terrible. Okay, the rating is just slightly lower. Whatever. I'm just gonna open it like this. So, um... Ride it. This is gonna be the, uh... What's it just gonna be? Yeah. What's a good name for a Togo? I don't know. Oh, hold up! I am an expert when it comes to Japanese coasters. This coaster is gonna be the, um... Super Stand Upper Loop... The... Loop... Loop... Roller... Coaster. How is it this... Roller coaster, and I'm just gonna add OMG at the end. What? No! Oh, wait, this is still a good night, but it's less cool. But anyway, thank you for watching, and see you in the next episode. Bye.